Listen, I know exactly what you're thinking when you're looking at the title of this video. You're thinking, you know, this dude's gonna try to sell me something or there's gonna be some type of course plugged at the end of the video. Absolutely nothing. I'm just giving all of this away for free. This was originally gonna be some type of ebook, but I see guys just charging, you know, way too much for like ebooks and guides that are just subpar. So this is my gift to you because I know it's going to help you. So what I ask from you is that you utilize this 100%, you know, whatever you have to do to make it all the way through this video, do that. If your dopamine is just absolutely fried from scrolling TikTok, then, you know, plug in some headphones, take this for a walk. Um, you know, that may help you get to the end, but either way, be sure you stick around because I'm going to give you guys some insights at the end of the video of how you can get um, some more free material in your hands on some training plans. So go ahead, make sure you watch all the way through and we'll just go ahead and get right into it. So sweet. All right, awesome. So like I said, this was originally going to be um, some type of ebook, but I just figured it'd be better for um, all of you guys for me to just, you know, make this into a YouTube series. So I don't know how many parts it's going to be, uh, but just make sure that, um, you know, you keep checking back, subscribe if you're not already. That way you can get um, all of these videos as they come out, whether it be, you know, five parts, six parts, or like, you know, 10 parts, whatever we have to do to make it through. Um, this is going to be a guide um, and like actual steps that you can take and follow to actually hit your goals because how many times have you told yourself i want to do this i want to do that but you never push yourself to actually get there because you didn't have a bulletproof system to not only hold you accountable but just you know make sure and check mark day by day that you're getting the results you want to get so that's my goal with this and that's when I, that's what we're going to help you guys accomplish cool so there are three main phases to the action step protocol. There's micro protocol, macro protocol, and then also the action step protocol. And so all of these build upon each other to help get you eventually to phase three to where you're thinking at a very high level um, and you know, you've know you rid yourself of all these problems and negativities that you're facing. So phase one, micro protocol, this is like your a thousand foot view. This is what we dive into first. Um, this is almost, you're kind of at that early stage of you may not know exactly what you want to do. You may not know exactly what the next best move is. You know, you may be working at McDonald's, which is cool. That's fine. But you want to get out of that and get into something else. Maybe you're, you know, just terrible. You know, you're out of shape, um, you know, mentally and physically. Uh, phase two is going to be, you know, taking this to a little bit higher level. So this is like your 10,000 foot overview maybe you're starting to build um some type of business maybe you know you're really like hitting the gym hard basically you're taking action you know in this step and then phase three is to where we get you to just stop thinking and you're just executing um so you can get rid of the mental brain fog um, and just the detriments of that so let's go ahead and get into it cool so phase one so notice earlier how i said i didn't say to stop setting goals you're always going to want and just naturally set goals but the habit of goal setting and just uh you know having having this mentality of like more and more and more that's very natural for human beings but it doesn't do very much especially for guys it's like you have all these goals you probably know exactly what i'm talking about is like you have these goals of making you know x amount of money or you have these goals of you know losing 10 pounds of fat losing 20 pounds of fat, 40 pounds of fat, whatever it may be. And setting those goals, whether it be like subconsciously, you know, in the back of your mind, or if you're actively like sitting down and, you know, writing it down with pen and paper, setting goals, it's, it's a natural desire for human beings. We all want more and we all want to hopefully at least improve our situation a little bit. That's why you're watching this video. And so setting goals just in of itself is addicting it can become habitual and what a lot of people a lot of guys will do is they'll get on these um you know like habit trackers and stuff and they'll go from you know maybe having bad habits such as um you know video games choking the chicken etc stuff like that and they'll take these routines and they'll become like addicted to just setting goals and not necessarily taking action on them um so i kind of want want to know from you guys let me know down below if you've ever set goals but you've never acted on them or achieved them um so this is what we're going to help you do with this mini course actually goal setting is different it requires you to like 
calm down, take a step back and view life um, from what I call the like macro lens. And so there's micro and there's macro basically. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to remove those goals and desires that aren't serving you and give you the key to success um, that you basically couldn't stop this if you wanted to. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to like really, really understand and drill into your head is that basically like self improvement is fake. It really is. It's like a, it's an entire industry. I can't even, you know, name the, the size of the industry, but it's gotta be, you know, a million billion dollar industry, just like the self-help and self-improvement um, sphere. And so a lot of this falls into just, you know, mental masturbation about thinking about stuff, about watching motivational videos um, because it releases more dopamine, right? Like you're obviously going to get more dopamine by clicking out of this video and going to watch some motivational um, talk. But what is that motivational talk going to do for you? It's going to get you motivated for, you know, maybe a couple of hours, maybe like eight hours a day at most, but it's not going to do anything in terms of like self actualization of actually getting what you want out of life. And so the bulk of people, including you watching this focus on the short term instead of just long term vision of where do I want to be in three years? Where do I want to be in five years? Where do I want to be in 10 years? And this is something I also personally struggled with. Um, and so go ahead and take a moment as I'm reading through this is like, these examples, you know, do they relate to you at all? So like, you know, not taking any time for yourself throughout the day, like all you do is just work. Of course, there's times for that. Um, also thinking, you know, if you just work and work and work, you would just automatically make it like just by like, you know, saving some money here and there, you know, not going after what I truly wanted, or like leaving opportunities on the table um, out of fear of failure. So kind of like, um, almost shiny object syndrome, but you're chasing multiple things um, just to make sure that you know you have like a backup plan. You have a plan B. You have a plan C. Um, you know D E F. You ha you have all these backup plans because you're not willing to commit to something. Um, not having like an organized plan that actually allows you to follow it. So a lot of the times people will get into plan out everything for a couple days and then they they can't stick to it. And so we're going to teach you like the best of both worlds there. And then also working a lot with a lot of distractions um, and just somehow thinking that you're automatically going to like make these big jumps, like making big jumps, especially with like fitness and business. Although, of course, I'm always, you know, working on improving that like I'm, you you're always looking to get to the next level no matter what. But for you guys that are starting like at the bottom or you feel like you're very stuck with this is. You, you're not going to see real improvement if you're trying to make these leaps and bounds by just kind of like half-assing it and going at it with a lot of distractions. Like you have to be um, committed. Um, also thinking it's like, it's okay, you know, that can wait when in reality, you know, it can't. And then also thinking, you know, I can eat that when I can't or I shouldn't. So, um, this is essential, like understanding this as a framework is essential, but we're gonna dive into some stuff that you can actually take as, um, you know, some action steps and some frameworks next. So you want to work with those who are close to you. You have to, you know, work in some capacity, like as a man, you know, you're going to have to provide, you're going to have to protect, you're going to have to also like do something that is effective because that's what men really want like if you're honest with yourself you probably don't even really care that much about being happy you care more about being effective um and so the best thing to do with this that i've found you know personally from mentors coaches i've worked with is like don't pick like you know like the gary v or um you know patrick like as much as i like these guys like you know uh you know gary v he's all right but like gary v patrick bat david uh, Alex Hormozy. Okay. You know, those are three examples of some really high level entrepreneurs, but they can be so ahead of you in the game that you can't relate to them on a personal level and they can't necessarily relate to you. Now you can maybe learn a lot from them, but the advice that they're giving you may just not be as tailored because you know, the level that you're at, they passed that like, you know, 10 years ago or something. They can probably still offer you advice, of course, 
but they can't relate to you on that personal level of like, okay, we just passed this milestone in business or we just passed this milestone with our fitness. It's gonna be very easy for you to get coached on that and learn from that because you're going to be able to relate to each other uh, more and then you can even, you know, help your mentor or your coach in some areas sometimes. That's a cool area I've seen where, uh, you know, some of my clients have helped me out, so it's cool. Um, and then going back to what I said earlier is apply force in one area. Stop trying to, you know, go off and spread your energy in all these different directions because that's not going to be effective. You're not going to move the needle in any direction if you're just trying to make everything work. This was true for me because I was uh, in school, I was working full time and I was also trying to build um, Evolution Academy. And so doing all of those three things at once really caught up to me and it hindered my progress in every single one. It was like, okay, I can't work as much, but I can't focus on my school primarily because I didn't really want to. And then, you know, I'm trying to build Evolution Academy, but I have school and then I have work. And so for periods of time, you're just going to have to go all in. So I dropped out of the school, you know, I stopped working and went in on Evolution Academy. And you can, of course, do this for what suits you. I challenge you to get uncomfortable, but like whatever it may take, you know, you can, instead of like taking, you know, vacation for your PTO, you can just take two weeks to grind like on your, on your business. Or if you don't want to do that, you know, just, you know, work like four, four days per week, but work like 10 hour shifts. See if you can do that. And then you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off to work on your business. So I'm just asking you guys to be as creative as you can, instead of just thinking, oh, well, I work, I go to school, I can't do anything. It's like, yeah, you can, you just have to um, make the most of your time at the end of the day, it's that simple. So like I said earlier, everyone has goals. Everyone wants to achieve stuff, all that. Every single person, even the you know people working at McDonald's, they want to achieve something or even like drug addicts, you know, they wanna to get to the next drug, whatever it may be. But very few people have actual drive. And so, you know, if you went out and you asked random strangers on the street about what their goals were, you know, chances you're gonna get very similar answers from everybody, whether, you know, they be male, female, maybe they're homeless, you know, maybe they're they're driving a Rolls Royce, whatever it may be, kind of their, their answers are, are pretty much the same. It's, you know, I wanna be rich slash wealthy, you know, money, that aspect. I want to like the way I look, you know, be physically fit, feel good about myself. Um, wanting to be healthier is a big one as well, especially once people, um, they may tackle the money aspect and then they look back and they're like, oh shit, I kind of messed that up. And so now I wanna be healthier. That's actually a really big one. And then also I want to be like happy. That's a big um, thing that people chase is being happy and just like being at peace with themselves. And then another one, I want to have more control over my life. A lot of people do not have control of your life, uh, over their life. And if you don't, um, this is one of the primary things that you should start off the bat is like, if you don't even have enough control over yourself to have discipline, to just not be a slave to the cheap dopamine online, then you're not gonna be going down the right path at all. So if you looked at, you know, their actions, you know, would they all be the same? Like all those people you, you talked and you went out to the street, you, you know, you talked to the billionaire guru, you talked to the homeless person, you talked to, uh, you know, the local business owner, you talked to the guy that works a nine to five. Now, if you looked at their actions, would their actions, you know, all be the same? Probably not because a lot of people are going to just talk about it. You know, especially if you just go out to like, you know, average grocery store, a lot of people are gonna tell you, oh, I want this, this, and this instead of just starting on it because they're gonna talk to you and like you watching this video, you can watch this video, but after you click out of it, you can go back to scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on YouTube shorts instead of just starting. So you don't need perfect conditions. You just need to start. You just need to start, go from idea to implementation immediately. Don't even, don't even worry about anything else. Like if you're, if you're trying to build like a business, let's say this is a bunch of free game, but like you're trying to build a business instead of like figuring out, okay, how do we, you know, make like back end, like how do we make the product? Like, let's say you have like an e-commerce e product you want to sell. And maybe it's like your own product. You made it instead of like trying to perfect that product right off the bat. 
is just, you know, set up a website and set up like a pre-sale or like landing page for like a pre-launch and, you know, give those people a discount just so you can get to market and you can get your, uh, your product on people's hands. And then they can give you feedback on like, well, I really liked this, but I wish this was better. And so now you have that data to take back to your team and you just continually make the product better and better. So it's the same thing with fitness for the coaching that I do for guys is like, even if you're not in evolution Academy right now, it's just start, like, just start on this, start working, start working towards your goals. And then when you're ready, just join, but like take action consistently. Now you have data that you can use to evaluate and you can also tweak your inputs because you have inputs and you have outputs. So just remember that everyone has goals. You're not special for having goals. You're not special for, you know, being into like motivational red pill content or anything like that. You're not even special for taking action, but what you need to do is take action. So remember that. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for phase one. Like I said, there's phases two and three, and there's also going to be additional parts uh, inside of the series. So if you are not already be sure that you like comment and subscribe on the video what that is going to do is it's going to put you in the algorithm so that when i post on my community tab you'll see all the links that i put out there to you know free courses free guides free workout plans free blueprints uh, for evolution academy that we just give away um, to you for free so if you want to see that and you want to get in on you know more free stuff that's provided by me and evolution academy then just go ahead and make sure that you like subscribe comment on the video also share it with a friend if you feel like they could benefit from this business partner whatever it may be and then um, yeah i will go ahead and i will see you guys in the next video peace